Let me know in the comments which fashion aesthetic is better than the other. Found some Jordan 3's white cements at a yard sale for three bucks. Of course, they needed a paint job and also the soles were separated. The first thing I did is take off the old glue with acetone and start prepping it for the new glue. Regluing is one of the hardest jobs for some of the restored shoes, but hey, somebody's gotta do it. All right, now that everything came out successful, we get our shoe cleaner ready, we pump the foam, and when I see the foam, I'm in my zone. FZ150 is non-toxic, biodegradable, safe on all colors and materials as well. And remember, when you want your shoes to be fixed, FZ150 does the trick. All right, since the shoe needs a paint job, I'm taping it, prepping it, and then painting it. You can also replace the back tag, but in this case, I'm going to paint it. All right, we're almost done. And now look at the difference. Wow, I just saved myself 150 bucks. Mira nomás. Get shoot nada. Um, life is good though. I want y'all to see that life is great. I ordered off a DH gate. Here's what I got. On first glance, they look decent. I feel like this is way too smooth here. This and this should be the same color. They should be this color here. This color is completely off. Cact cactus jig. Stiff. So on these, I'm gonna give them a three out of 10. And here's the second pair I got. These look better, but if you get close, you can tell that this is not actually suede. I don't know what material this is, but there is absolutely no suede there. I feel like this is way too big, but at least this one, it pops back up.
Fits I wore this week. Nike made Concord Jordan 1s. Now this is the Jordan 1 low in what's being called the Concord colorway. It's not a coincidence either because of one hidden detail. And as soon as I heard about it, I needed to check it out to see if it was real. So the shoe itself mimics the Concord's classic black and white colorway with black patent leather. Both shoes also have the famous icy blue outsole. Now aside from that, at a quick glance, some might still argue that this colorway just happens to be the same colors and isn't really like the Concord 11s, but all is revealed when you take a look at the insole. You see the word Jumpman written in the iconic Jordan 11 font and in the exact same Concord color as on the actual 11s. So if you want some Concords but can't get the original thing, these are a great alternative. Waiting on shoe rotations. Let's go! Uh, first, we got this one. The forces can be styled with anything, but everything else can be styled with blue. It's still clean, though. I'll give him that. I'll give this one a 7. Next, we got this one. This is actually so clean. I love the ones, fours, and the dunks. Clean Converse. I'll never be seen wearing boots, though. This is a 7.5. Lastly, we got this one. I like the fours. I just personally don't like the unions. The strange love dunks are crazy. I love the new balance. I actually have a pair coming in right now. And the Travis Scott's are all right. I'll give this one a These could have been the shoe of the year, but their name is holding them back. This is the Air Jordan 1 High 85 Black and White. Although it does a tremendous job of paying tribute to the original 1985 Jordan 1, everybody can't help themselves but to call these the Pandas. This sneaker's premium leather upper and OG features should not be affiliated with the memes of the Panda Dunk, but I'm curious what you all think. You take it up the ass, and not in a cute way, more like a tear-jerking, no goals in life, power bottom. If you wear Paxson, I can spot your ass a mile away, like a goddamn Hawkeye Vision binocular motherfucker. Paxson is the diaper that you shit yourself in before you can take it off and roam free because you know how to use the toilet now. Bro, come on. Playboy tank top? I'd rather play with boys. Budweiser screen print left thigh, bro. How basic can you fucking get? These are fucking foul. I grew another chromosome looking at these. These are like the copy of the Kanye design. Tell me that bat doesn't have like facial gonorrhea. Striped shorts started the Vietnam War. Handkerchief shorts are for versions that say they have a five body count. More horrendous play with boys merch. And now the motherfuckers got essentials, bro. This is for my jungle homies. Wubuyao. Y'all remember the worst clothing video? Yeah, they have cargo joggers here, bro. And again with the fucking stripes. Ooh, new shoes. 
I cannot wait to wear these. Today we're gonna legit check some Jordan 4s. First up, we got the drop test. Drop the 4s on the ground, and if they are pointing due east, you are good. Next up, we've got the netting, and it's not what you think. You see, you've actually got to pick at the netting. If it sounds like a chamisen, you're good. Next up, and my favorite way to legit check 4s is the heel tag. If you hear the pling, you are good. 